Good day, beloved brothers and sisters. I bring you greetings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. How wonderful it is for brothers and sisters to gather in oneness and worship the Father in truth and in spirit. Be not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is a power of God unto salvation to everyone that believed, first to the Jews and also to the Gentiles. I celebrate grace for you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are this hour, this minute, I want you to join me so we can worship the Father. Let's worship in spirit and in truth. Let's begin to worship him. Father, we bless you, we worship you, we honor your name, we reference your name. You are the M that M, you are the most blessed, you are the most holy. We worship you, Jesus, Son of the Living God. We worship you, hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. I worship you, Jesus, Son of the Living God. I worship you, wonderful Father. We worship you, Jesus, Masters of Heaven. He is the ancient of day, the land of the child of Judah. We worship you. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. I worship you, Jesus, Son of the Living God. I worship you. You got a lovely Lord. You got a lovely Lord. You do all things beautiful, wonderful Savior. We worship you. Hallelujah. He is the Lamb of God. I worship you. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Do all things new. Do all things beautiful in the life of your people. Do all things marvelous in the life of the people. In the name of Jesus, wonderful Savior. We worship you. You got a lovely Lord. You got a lovely Lord. You do all things beautiful. We worship you, Jesus. He is our strong tower. We worship you, Father. Wonderful Father. Wonderful Father. We worship you. Blessed Holy Spirit. Wonderful Holy Spirit. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Jesus. Jesus. He's the King of Kings. He's the King of Kings. He's the King of Glory. We worship you. My God. Blessed Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in the name of Jesus. I welcome you, Holy Spirit. Blessed Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome. Thou art welcome. Thou art welcome in the name of Jesus. I release the Holy Spirit right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I release it right now. I release it right now in the name of Jesus. I release the power of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I despise the minister of the Spirit to go forth and means of the end of salvation in the name of Jesus. Blessed Holy Spirit. Touch your people, locate your people in the name of Jesus. Touch your people right now. I pray for your people in the name of Jesus. Release the blood of Jesus upon your life, upon your home, upon your business, upon your job right now in the name of Jesus. Release the part of the Holy Ghost upon your marriage right now in the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of confusion in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke of stagnation it is broken by the blood of Jesus. It is dismantled by the blood of Jesus. It is paralyzed by the blood of Jesus. Oh my Father, in the name of Jesus, every sickness right now. I speak to you. You have no authority. You have no power. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Be you in your body. In the name of Jesus. Man kerebe shekaba da bada. Rakaba shekaba pa katasa. Yekaba man kota pa da sada. I speak to signal in your body. Be you in your body. In the name of Jesus. Every infirmity in your blood. Be you in the name of Jesus. 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 Every signal in your bone. I will Rebuke that sickness right now in the name of Jesus. Every sickness in the bone, cancer in the bone, be you in the name of Jesus. Disease in the bone, viral in the bone, be you in the name of Jesus. My code of be you in Jesus' name, be you in Jesus' name, be you in Jesus' name. Every group, I rebuke you. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Every cancer in your body, be you in Jesus' name. Be you in Jesus' name. Signal in Mankara Shekaba Baba. Every signal, every signal in your liver, in your lungs. In your kidney, be you in your be you in the name of Jesus. You lose in Jesus' thing, lose in Jesus' thing, lose in Jesus' thing, lose in Jesus' thing. You demon of blindness, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You demon of death and dumb. Come 
Come on in Jesus' name. Come on in Jesus' name. Receive your senses in the name of Jesus. Receive your action in the name of Jesus. Every lamb person, rise and walk in Jesus' name. Rise and walk in Jesus' name. I release strength in your leg. I release strength in your hand. Every problem with your hand. Be you in Jesus' name. Be you in Jesus' name. On your shoulder, on your neck, wherever there is pain. Be you in Jesus' name. You demon that pain, I rebuke you. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Oh my Father, your word may God the stay wherever the bond on earth it is bound in heaven wherever that loose on earth it is loose in heaven my cobadabada i rebuke sickness i rebuke infirmity loose in jesus name loose in jesus name loose in jesus name you spirit of jezebel i rebuke you in the name of jesus i rebuke you in the name of jesus you spirit of jezebel i rebuke you in jesus name loose god's people loose god's people loose in jesus name you spirit of fornication i rebuke you in the name of jesus i rebuke you in the name of jesus you spirit of adultery i rebuke you in the name of jesus i rebuke you in the name of jesus loose in jesus name loose in jesus name you demon of property i rebuke you i disconnect you i paralyze you i overturn i overrun by the blood of jesus loose in jesus name i disconnect you and the evil spirit for your fatherhood for your motherhood that suppressing you that oppressing you loose in jesus name 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 you demon of empty i rebuke you I subdue you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Loose in Jesus' name. You have no authority in our marriage. You have no authority in our home. Let my people go in the name of Jesus. Take your hand of our marriage in the name of Jesus. Take your hand of our job in the name of Jesus. Loose in Jesus' name. Loose in Jesus' name. Every spirit of disobedience upon your terror. I rebuke that demon. Come on in Jesus' name. Come on in Jesus' name. Come on in Jesus' name. Loose in Jesus' name. Loose in Jesus name. Loose in Jesus name. Loose in Jesus name. Ye kaba daba 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 da, ra kaba daba daba da, ra kaba daba daba ka kaba ka satala ni, ra kaba daba daba da. Loose in Jesus name, loose in Jesus name, loose in Jesus name, loose in Jesus name. Every demon of jealousy at your job side, I rebuke that jealousy. I rebuke it in Jesus name. Every spirit on the money, I rebuke you. Every spirit of suppression, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of oppression, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Loose in Jesus name, loose in Jesus name. You demon of nightmare, man, nightmare woman. I rebuke you by the part of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Come on and go in Jesus' name. Loose and go in Jesus' name. I bound you. I loose you. I paralyze you. I dismantle you in the name of Jesus. I break your stronghold. I break your root. I break your power in the name of Jesus. My kaba shaka kada ye koko ko pala satade ya kaba bada bada bada. Loose in Jesus' name. Let it be healed in your body. Healed in your body. Healed in your body. Healed in your bone. Healed in your vein. Healed in your blood in the name of Jesus. Every heart disease. Leave you in the name of Jesus. Leave you in the name of Jesus. Leave you in the name of Jesus. Receive new heart. Receive new lungs. In the name of Jesus. 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 My kaba na ba shigera. Rapa na ba shigera. Let your legs begin to grow. In the name of Jesus. Let your legs begin to grow. In the name of Jesus. Let the arm begin to grow. In the name of Jesus. Rise and walk. In the name of Jesus. I don't have seven and go to get you, but what I have I get you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise and walk in Jesus' name. Be you in Jesus' name. Be loose in Jesus' name. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Man, go to the back. Ye kapa ya kaka kapa kata satane. Rakaba na ba na ba na ba na. Rakaba ba ba na ba. Loose in Jesus' name. Loose in Jesus' name. Every let me never more. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Every evil dream, bad dream, I rebuke you. I bound you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Loose God's people. Loose God's people. You have no authority. You have no power. I rebuke your stronghold. I dismantle your Struggle loose in Jesus' name, loose in Jesus' name, loose in Jesus' name. Oh, my father, I pray this hour for your people. Make them a vessel, make them a vessel of celebration in the need of Jesus, make them a vessel of honor in the need of Jesus, make them a vessel of purification in the need of Jesus, make them a vessel of holiness in the need of Jesus. Rabadaba Shekana Rapadaba, Marco Topada, I declare good news into your life, good news into your life in the need of Jesus, good news to your family in the need of Jesus. Good news at your job in the name of Jesus. Good news for your children 
in the name of Jesus. Makada was shaking that. Makaba ba 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 shaking that. There will be open door in your life in the name of Jesus. There will be breakthrough in your life. Financial breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Education at your job. Promotion at your job in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Increment, multiplication in the name of Jesus. There will be harvest in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh my Father, Rakaba in the name of Jesus. Supply the need of the people. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whoever not the son of my father, be blessed in the name of Jesus. Mother plot in your life in the name of Jesus. Wherever your hand touches, blessed in the name of Jesus. Wherever your hand touches, blessed, it will multiply, it will increase in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of stagnation, it is rebuked by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you demon of delay, I rebuke you, I bound you in the name of Jesus. You spirit of death. I rebuke you from this nation, from our nation, from our world, from our home, from our community. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You spirit of death, I rebuke you. You agent of death, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Loose and go, loose and go. You have nothing in us. You have nothing in us. You have nothing in me. You have nothing in people. You have nothing in us. You have nothing in us. Come on and go. Come on and go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My kata kata pakoto jiko pata satakade rakapa yakopa. Loose in Jesus' name. Loose in Jesus' name. Loose in Jesus' name. Wherever they have tied you in your village, in your hometown, my co Loose in Jesus' name. Loose in Jesus' name. Loose in Jesus' name. Wherever they took your picture, they took your clothes, my cabal, to suppress you, to depress you, to delay you. I speak to you. Receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. Whoever the Son of God shall free, you are free indeed. Loose in Jesus' Jesus name, loose in Jesus name, loose in Jesus name, loose in Jesus name, loose in Jesus name. Man, go to father. Ye ke ke de ke de ke de ke de ke de. Raka ba ba ba, raka da ba ba, raka da ba ba, raka da ba ba, raka da ba ba, man da ba. Loose in Jesus name. Bless the Holy Spirit. Let the power of the Holy Ghost begin to flow right now. I release the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I release the power of the Holy Ghost. It is coming right now. It is coming. It is coming. It is coming. Ah, my Kaaba Shada. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. That is the power of my Father. It is coming right now. In the name of Jesus, the vibration, like heat of fire. It is coming in your body. It is coming in your bone. It is coming in your flesh. It is coming every part of your being. It is coming right now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. 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 Loose 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 in Jesus' name. Have men, have men, have men. In Jesus' mighty name. I celebrate grace for you in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for healing your people. Thank you for delivering your people. I bless you, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for signs and wonder. Thank you for healing. Thank you for miracles. Thank you for testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, today, briefly, we will be discussing God's words to his wonderful and loving people. Many people want to walk in power. But they don't know how to walk in power. But there is a secret to walking in the power of God. Many people don't know the secret of walking in the power of God. But the secret is very common to walk in the power of God. Today, our team is secret to walk in the power of God. We are teaching today and preaching today and telling gospel the secret of walking in the power of God. This has caused many people to go astray. This has caused many people to lose the mind of God. Many, many people have gone and to look the other side. Many people have gone to San Goma. They have gone to Mamo. They have gone to Wish Dad. They have gone to all kinds of false God. But have come to you to let you know about the part of the Holy Spirit that there is a secret of walking in the power of God. If only you'll be obedient, you will walk. And the Father will manifest in you the secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. And we will be reading from Romans chapter 12 verse 1. If you have your Bible, turn to me to the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. He said, present your body unto God. 
as a living sacrifice. Beloved brethren, says that many people want to walk in the power of God, but they don't know the secret to allow the power of God to manifest in their life and ministry. They see the glory, the glorious manifestation of the power of God in the life of other men of God, women of God. And they want to obey the land. They want to follow them, but they lack the understanding and the obedience to allow the power of God to flow in them. That's why today the Holy Spirit have sent me. He said, for lack of knowledge, my children perish. But I know, go and tell them the secret to allow the power of God to be manifested in their life and their ministry. And that's what I've come to tell you, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, brothers and sisters, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. When you present your body as a living sacrifice, it means that your body will be God's body. It belongs to God and not of your own no longer. And as a result of that, you will live a holy life. When you live a holy life, then you experience a part of God. The first thing you need to do to the secret, walk in the part of God, present your body a living sacrifice unto God. Present your body a living sacrifice unto God. When you do that, you allow the power of God to flow. But this has, this has caused many to miss the mark because they don't want to present their body a living sacrifice unto God. You must present your body, the first step to that, present your body to God as a living sacrifice that will please God, that will be satisfied to God. When that is done, God begins to work on you. God begins to work on you so that you can walk in the power of God. It is a desire of Jesus Christ, of our Lord in personal service, that each of his children walk in his power. That we walk in his power, but you must pay the price. There is a price. Jesus paid the price to redeem mankind. And if you are a soul of Jesus Christ, you need to pay your price. He has paid the price for each and every one of us, but you have your free will. You have your free will. By submitting yourself to Jesus Christ, to the Father as a living sacrifice, is one of the price you are paying because you want to live a holy life. Present yourself a living sacrifice, holding a saddle unto God, which is a which is a reasonable service unto Him. The secret of walking the power of God, one you must present yourself a living sacrifice unto the Father. Unto the Father. To be able to walk in the power of God, you need to present yourself. Forget about everything. Leave everything. And just submit to the Lordship of Lord Jesus Christ and allow Him to live in you. To, walk, to, to understand the secret, you need to live in holiness. To walk in the power of God, you need to be holy. You need to be holy. You need to allow holiness to dwell in you for the power of God to be manifested in you. It is a gift of the Holy Spirit. But how can the Holy Spirit give His gift to a body that is not presented unto God? How can the Holy Spirit give His gift to a body that is not walking in line with God? How the Holy Spirit give His gift to a body that is not sanctified by God? So for you to walk in the power of God, the first step we need to do, I need to do, we need to present ourselves to God as a living sacrifice, holding acceptable unto Him. The second aspect to walk in the power of God, you need to love Jesus Christ and keep his commandment. To be able to walk in the power of God, you need to love Jesus and keep his commandment. You need to love Jesus Christ and keep his commandment. That's why Jesus said in St. John chapter 14, verse 15, he said, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. If you love me, you will keep my commandment. So it means that if you love Jesus Christ, you will keep his commandment. For you to walk in the power of God, you must be sent to, you must present yourself a living sacrifice unto him, unto God, and keep his commandment. Love Jesus. Love be a Jesus center person and keep his what? Commandment. And I read from St. John chapter 14, St. John chapter 14, verse 15. St. John chapter 14, verse 15. And they read, if ye love me, keep my commandment. He said, if you love me, Peter, John, Paul, 
Mary, Cecilia, whoever, if you love me, if you love me, show to me, keep my commandment. For example, if your father tells you that, oh, Trump, don't go out today. Today is risky. Today is not good. It's not safe. Don't go out. If you obey your father, mean you love him. But if you don't obey your father, it means that you don't love him. So it's the same thing like Jesus said, if we love him, we should obey his commandment. To walk in the power of God, you must obey Jesus Christ. You must love him. Keep his commandment. Guess what? If you keep his commandment and you love him, what he said in verse 21, in St. John chapter 14, verse 21, he said, he that hath my commandment, he that hath my commandment and keep up then, he that hath my commandment and keep up then, he it is that loveth me is the one that loveth me, he that hear my commandment and keep them is the one that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be love of my father. He said, he that loveth me, my father will love him. And I will love him and we will manifest ourselves in him. When you love Jesus and keep his commandment, he will manifest himself in you. When Jesus manifests himself in you, you will walk in power. When Jesus manifests himself in you, you are walking power. Because Jesus will be in you, the Father will be in you, and the Holy Spirit will be in you. The secret of walking in the power of God, submit yourself a living sacrifice, holding a servant unto God. Love Jesus and keep his commandment. Love Jesus and keep his commandment. When you love Jesus and keep his commandment, what happened in verse 21 in St. John 14, verse 21? He said, he that keep my commandment is the one that loves me. And I and the Father will come and the Holy Spirit will come and will manifest. When Jesus manifest, he gave you power. When he manifest, he released gifts. When he manifest, he released authority. When he manifest, he released dominion. For you to walk in the power of God, you allow Jesus to dwell in you. Love him. Keep his commandment. Present your body as a living sacrifice, holding a cell unto God. Live in holiness. These are the price you need to pay. These are some of the prayers you need to pay, that you and I need to pay. If you want to walk in the power of God, you need, but because of that generation, they are not patient. Because of that generation, they lack the understanding. Many people are going astray. Many people are going, looking elsewhere, going to the enemy, going to the devil, going to seek false prophet, false power to deceive God's people. But if you as a genuine man of God, woman of God, if you want to walk in the power of God, you need to present yourself a living sacrifice, holding a servant unto God. You need to love Jesus, keep his commandment, and Jesus will come to you. He will manifest as I say in you, you need to live a holy life. Secret of walking in the power of God. He that loves me, keep my commandment. And my father loves him as well. And my father will come unto him. I will come unto him and will manifest in him. And when Jesus manifests himself in you, you will walk in dominion. You will walk in authority. You will walk in power. If you keep his commandment, then the Father will love you. Jesus will love you. The Holy Spirit will love you. He will come into you. He will come unto you and manifest himself in you. You need to keep his commandment. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. And that's why Jesus said, This son shall follow them that believe. When you present yourself, you obey Jesus, you keep his commandment, the Father is in you, you manifest himself in you, you say, those that believe will walk in this son. This son will follow them. This son will follow them that believe. This son will follow them that believe. If you believe him, if you have faith in him, if you keep his commandment, and you present yourself as a living sacrifice unto God, this son will follow you. We need to believe. You would need to believe. But you need to keep his commandment. And that's why he make an answer in Mark 16, verse 17 or 18. I come to Mark chapter 16. Mark 16, verse 17 to 18. And this son shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devil. They shall speak with new tongue. In my name is for those that believe. It's for those who present themselves a living sacrifice unto him. Holding a sacrifice unto him. It's that those that keep his commandment and, and, and love him. It's that those who live in holiness, belief, have faith in the Son of God, and this son will follow you. And they shall take out seven, and if they drink in intelligence, it shall by no means hurt them. They will lay their hand on their sick. How can you lay your hand on your sick when your body is polluted? How can you lay your hand 
on the sea when you are in the club? How can you leave your hand on the sea when you are living in adultery? How can you leave your hand on the sea when you are living in fornication? How can you leave your hand on the sea and be healed? Because many lack understanding. As a result of that, they seek evil power. They go to the sea. They go to wish that up. They go to Sangoma. They go to Mamo. They go to wish that up. Because they cannot pay the price. The secret of walking in the power of God. Submit yourself as a living sacrifice unto God. Love Jesus Christ. Keep his commandment. And Jesus will manifest himself in you. And when he manifests himself in you, you believe in you have faith. And this son will follow you. For he has already given authority. He has given you power and authority. But how can you tap into that power and authority? That is a secret. To walk in the power of God. And that's why the Bible makes us to understand in Luke chapter 9 verse 1 to 2. If you have your Bible turned into Luke chapter 1 verse 9 to 2. Then he called his 12 disciples to get up and he gave them power and authority. We already have power and authority. You have power, you have authority. But you like the understanding to apply it. You like the secret to apply it. Secret to walk in the power of God. He gave them power and authority over all devils. He gave you power and authority over all devils in the human mind that say, nothing can stand before you. I carry power, I carry the authority because Christ is in me. I can tell the blind receive your sight, they receive their sight in Jesus' name. I can see the cripple rise up and walk in Jesus' name and they will rise up. The unbeatable plan until your legs grow now in Jesus' name will grow in Jesus' name. Why? Because he has given me authority and power. Why? Because I submit myself. So you need to submit yourself. We need to submit ourselves. Do not run after other gods. Do not run after other creatures. Do not run after other things. They cannot help you. They will carry you to hell. Though you will be sending yourself to hell. You need to obey the word of God. Present yourself a living sacrifice unto him. Love Jesus Christ. Be a Jesus-centered person. Keep his commandment. Live in holiness. And this son will follow you. This son will follow you. It is the desire of Jesus Christ that this son follow us. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. If you want to walk in the power of God as a soul of Jesus Christ, you cannot entangle yourself in the faith of this world. How can you say you are a man of God, a woman of God, a church, a church goer? You want to walk in the power of God. You are a soul of Jesus Christ and you entangle yourself in the faith of this world. A good soul of Jesus Christ cannot entangle himself in the affair of this world, in the pleasure of this world. You will not walk in dominance. You will not walk in power. You will not walk in authority when you entangle yourself in the affair of this world. So the walk in the power of God, you need to come from among them. You need to separate yourself from the mountain. Do not be entangled in the affair of this world. Do not be entangled in the flesh of desire. Do not be entangled in the world of desire. Come from a mountain. Separate yourself. Separation brings the power of God. As a soul of Jesus Christ, you cannot allow yourself to be entangled in the affair of this world, in the desire of this world, in the pleasure of this world. That's why the Bible makes us understand in 2 Timothy chapter 2, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 to 4. If you have your Bible, turn to me, please, in sec to 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 to 4. And it reads, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that worried and entangled himself with the affair of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. You must please him who have chosen you and I to be a soldier. So you cannot entangle a good soldier of Jesus Christ, cannot entangle himself in the affair of this world. Because if you want to walk in power, you cannot entangle yourself in the desire of this world. You cannot entangle yourself in the, in the desire of the flesh. You cannot entangle yourself in, to satisfy the world. You must separate yourself. To cast out demons. To walk in dominance, to walk in dominion, to walk in authority, to walk in power. He has given everything unto you. I come to Luke chapter 9, verse 1 to 2. I come to Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. But you must present yourself a living sacrifice. 
You will love Jesus and keep his commandment. You must live in holiness. A soul of Jesus Christ, you cannot entangle yourself in the afraid of this world. You must come out from the mountain. You must separate yourself in order to please him who have called you to be a soul. That will enable you to walk in the power of God. To walk in the power of God, you need to read the word of God. How many times have you read the word of God? How many times have you read the word of God? How long do you take to read the word of God? To walk in the power of God, you need to read the word of God. Because the word of God will quicken you. Quicken me with your word. And I will cry unto you, Lord. You need to read the word of God so the word of God can quicken your spirit, man. The word can quicken your soul. The word can renew your mind. You need to read the word of God as a man of God. So if you want to walk in power, you want to walk in authority, you need to read the word of God. You need to meditate upon the word of God. That will not depart from your mouth. But you observe the do those things that are in the world, that is embedded in the word of God, that you have victory, you have authority, you have dominion, you have power. Read the word of God. And allow the word of God to quicken you. When the word of God quicken you, when the word of God is in your spirit, when the word of God is in your soul, you are walking dominant, you are walking the authority, you are walking power. Beloved brothers and sisters, the secret to walk in the power of God. Many wants to walk in the power of God, but you don't want to pay the price. Many wants to walk in the power of God, but you don't want to understand the secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. When you read the word of God, it will allow you to see the face of God. When you read the word of God, it will bring you face to face to the Father. When you read the word of God, you will encounter Jesus Christ. When you read the word of God, Christ will be in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Unspeakable joy. The secret of walk in the power of God. The secret of walk in the power of God. But many fail to understand that secret. Many fail because of lack of patience, because of lack of understanding. Many fail because they allow themselves to be entangled in the fear of this world. As a result of that, they miss the mark. They turn the other way. They go for a fast solution. But I've come to encourage you. I have come to motivate you. To teach you. To explain to you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. If you want to walk in the power of God. You need to be crucified yourself. You and I we need to crucify the flesh. We need to crucify the desire of the flesh. You need to crucify your flesh with Christ Jesus. To walk in the power of God. To allow the power of God to work in you. That's why the Bible makes us say in Galatians 2 verse 20. He said, I therefore I crucify myself with Christ. Never the life I live, but not I, but Christ live in me. But the life that I live in the flesh, I live by faith by the Son of God. Who gave himself for me. When you crucify the flesh, you crucify the desire of the flesh, you crucify the desire of this world, you will walk in authority. The secret of walk in the power of God. That's why the power of God, honestly, in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, Makaba shikir, abada, 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 shikir. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, and it reads, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the love which I now live in the flesh, I live it by faith by the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. When you have, you have to crucify yourself with Christ, because he's crucified himself for all, because he loved all. So when you crucify the desire of the flesh, you crucify the desire of this world, it's no longer that you that live, but it's Christ that liveth in you. To walk in the power of God, you must crucify yourself. You must crucify the flesh, crucify your desire, crucify the pleasure of this world. That allow Christ to live in you. That allow Christ to live in you by faith. That allow Him to live in you. You need to crucify the flesh. Bring the flesh under subjection. Bring the flesh under control. Do not allow the flesh to control you. You control him. Crucify yourself with Christ. 
So a lot of Christ will live in you. If you want to walk in the power of God, you need to be crucified. If you want to walk in the power of God, you need to fast and pray. If we want to walk in the power of God, you need to fast and pray. Men of God, women of God, they don't pray. They don't fast. And today I was just joking with my wife. And she cooked a nice plava saw. And when I saw all of the particles in this plava saw, I said, wow, this is the reason why many men of God, they don't fast. But when the women cook and they see the pot, they forget about fasting. But for, if you want to walk in the power of God, you must let go. You must bring your body under control. You must have authority. You must have dominion. Oh, your body, control your body. Bring it under subjection. Because this thing doesn't happen only by fasting and prayer. That's why Jesus said this thing don't happen. They don't come only by fasting and by prayer. So if you want to walk in the power of God, you must fast, you must pray. Fasting, prayer, bring the power of God upon your life. That's why the Bible makes me the honor say in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20 21. If you are there, turn to me to the book of Matthew. Makuda shakada shekekekekeba satanari. Oh, hallelujah. Unspeakable jaw. Makababa. And that's why Matthew 17, verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for very I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove him. To handle place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it? This can go up now out, but by prayer and by fasting, for you to speak to the mountain, for the mountain to remove from a position to go to another position, it comes by fasting and prayer. For you to change your situation, it comes by fasting and prayer. For you to pray for the blind to receive their sight, it comes by fasting and prayer. For you to pray for the cripple, for the war, it comes by fasting and prayer. For you to walk in authority and dominion, it comes by fasting and prayer. The secret. To walk in the power of God, you need to present your body a living sacrifice, holding acceptable to unto God. You need to love Jesus, be a Jesus-centered person, and keep his commandment. When you love Jesus and keep his commandment, the next thing Jesus will do, according to St. John chapter 14, verse 21, he will say, oh, that person loved me, my father will love him, my son will love him, and we will come unto him, and we will manifest ourselves in him. The third thing you need to do, you need to read the word of God. Allow the word of God to quicken you. Allow the word of God to produce authority in you. Allow the word of God to produce dominion in you. To bring you face to face with the Son of God. Read the word of God. Read the word of God. You need to live in holiness. You need to live in holiness. You need to fast and pray. Jesus, this doesn't come. But by fasting and by prayer, for you to walk in authority, for you to walk in power, you need to fast and pray. How many times do you fast? How many times do you pray? You need to develop habit, the attitude. You need to go to the secret place. There's a secret place you find solution. It's a secret place you find authority. It is a secret place you find power. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. The Bible says, He that is joined with the Lord is one spirit. If Christ is in you, it means you are drawn together. And if Christ dwells in you, it means that you carry power because He will manifest Himself in you. Because the Father will be in you, the Holy Spirit will be in you, and you will produce for fruit, and your fruit will bear fruit. And many will see the fruit in you, and they will glorify the Father who is in heaven. They will see the light in you, and they will glorify the Father who is in heaven. Why? Because you are drawn with the Lord in one spirit. He that is drawn with the Lord is one spirit. And that's when we take, it. for example, when you take two different mineral bottles of water from two different companies, and you have a single, you have a glass, and you and you pour the water in the glass from the two different companies, you cannot see the distinction between because they are drawn together. They cannot be separated. That is a, your spirit and the lost spirit. It's joined together. It cannot be separated. When that happens, you walk in authority. You walk in power. There's no need to go to the sea. 
There's no need to go to modern men. There's no need to go seek false prophet. There's no need to go look for idol. There's no need to sell your soul to the devil. No, because you have the authority. You have the power. But the secret to obtain the authority, the secret to walk in the power of God. Because my people lack understanding. Because lack of knowledge and courage. Understanding the secret. Knowing the secret to walk in the power of God. Jesus is a desire that will do more than he did. He's a desire that will walk in his authority. But many people in our generation, in our town, they are going that straight because they want to get fast power. They want to get the world to know them. They have not patience. They don't want to give their body as a living sacrifice, as holy and acceptable unto God. Why? Because of the desire of the world. Why? Because of the flesh of desire. Because of greed. Because of popularity. Brothers and sisters, you need to be patient. Just submit yourself to God. Live in holiness. Allow Christ to live in you. Allow the Holy Spirit to live in you. And you will see the miracles. Since I will manifest myself in you. If the Father manifests himself in you, what happened? Dominance. If he manifests himself in you, what happened? Power. If he manifests himself in you, what happened? Authority. Because your body has been reserved as a vessel of honor, a vessel of sanctification, a vessel of purification. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret of walk in the power of God. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. You will experience liberty in your life. You will experience liberty in your home. You will experience liberty in your family. Because you understand the secret to walk in the power of God. Because you understand the secret of walking in the power of God. If you want to walk in the power of God, do not lust after the flesh. If you want to walk in the power of God, do not lust after the flesh. But I want to advise you walk in the spirit. Be a spirit man. Walk in the spirit. That's what Galatians 5 verse 6 says. Walk in the spirit. That you will not fulfill the laws of the flesh. Walk in the spirit. We need to walk in the spirit. You need to walk. If you want to carry the power of God, if you want to understand the secret of God, the power of God, you need to walk in the spirit. That's what the Bible makes you understand in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. If you have the Bible, please turn to me to the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. And it reads, This I said then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lot of the flesh. If you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lot of the flesh. You will not fulfill the desire of the flesh. Galatians chapter 5 verse 24. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affection of the and loss. If you are Christ, if you are in Christ, they that have Christ, they have what crucified the flesh. That's why I just told you in Galatians, in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 that you are crucified with Christ. When you crucify with Christ, it means that you have crucified the flesh. And they left, you now live, you live by faith by the Son of God, who loves you and gave himself for you. So it's, the body is not of your own. You are pushing with a price. Free fornication, free adultery, that will enable you to walk in the power of God. Because you are Christ-like. The man will see Christ-like be in you. And when that happens, it means that you will let go the flesh of desire and its affections and the loss thereof. And that will enable you to walk in the power of God. To understand the secret of God, you must flee fornication, adultery. Flee the loss of the flesh and the affection thereof. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in authority. Jesus has given us power and authority. He has given up power and authority to them that love him and keep his commandment. If you love him, keep his commandment, he'll give you power, your walking power, your authority. That is the secret to walking the power of God. Love Jesus, keep his commandment. Love Jesus, keep his commandment. Be a Jesus centered person. Do not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. To the Jews and to the Gentiles, be not ashamed. Be a Christ man. 
Present your body a living sacrifice. Hold it acceptable unto him. Read the word of God. Fast and pray. Walk in the spirit. Crucify yourself, your flesh, the word of desire. Then you'll walk in the power of God. The Bible says, he gave them power and authority over unclean spirit to cast out them and to heal all manner of sickness, to operate in power and dominion. But you need to live a whole life. You need to keep his commandment. You need to keep his commandment. You need to love him. For he loves you. He gave himself for you and I. And then you'll walk in power. You'll walk in authority. You'll heal the sick. You'll heal the blind. And that's what I told you in Matthew chapter 10 verse 1. And then he called unto him his 12 disciples. He gave them power against unclean spirit. To cast out them and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. He came down in the fresh air. And has he, in verse 10, he said he healed the sick, cleansed the leper, raised the dead, cast off the devil, free the gift, free the receive. Why people are not doing those things? Because you don't understand the secret to work in the power of God. If you understand the secret of working in the power of God, when you apply these things, which are the secret, you will be able to move in the person of God. You will do great things in the person of God. He will do it in you and through you and with you. This generation needs to turn back to God. There is power in the word of God. The devil cannot offer you anything. They don't have power. They put their photocopy. They make you afraid. You need to come back to God. If you want to walk in power, genuine power, you need to understand the secret of walking the power of God. It's available to you and I. But you need to pay the price. You need to submit yourself, living sacrifice, holding the set under God. You need to live a holy life. You need to be a Jesus person, a Jesus center person. You need to read the word of God to come face to face with the Son of God. You need to fast and pray. For this, it doesn't come only about fasting and praying. You need a loss. You need a, you need a, you need a free fornication, adultery, flee the loss and affections of this world. You need to crucify the body, crucify the flesh. You need to bring under subjection. And you are walking the power of God. And you are walking the power of God. To walk in the power of God, you need to love Jesus, I told you, and keep his commandment. He gave his Holy Spirit to then I obey him. He gave his Holy Spirit to then I obey him. And he gave it to then I ask him. If you ask him, and he knows you are living a holy and perfect life, he will put that power upon your life. He will put that gift upon your life. We need to understand the secret to walk in the power of God. The Holy Spirit produces the power of God in your life. The Holy Spirit produces the power of God in my life. But we need, that's why he, we need to understand the secret. We need to pay the price. That's why he told his disciples, go and wait in Jerusalem. In Acts chapter 1, verse 8, he said, you will receive power to go to Jerusalem, Samaria, Judea, and to the ultimate part of the world, to preach the gospel, to be witnesses for me. You will receive power. You will receive authority. It is the Holy Spirit that gave you the power. To do that, obey him. Those that love him and keep his commandment. To obey him to keep his commandment. Our generation needs to keep his commandment. Our generation needs to love him. Our generation needs to present our body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him. Our generation needs to pray and fast. Our generation needs to read the word of God. To be able to walk in the power of God. To be able to walk in the power of God. And that's why I told you in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Tell me Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And I read. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come up upon you. And ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in all Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. You will receive power. He gave his Holy Ghost to them that obey him. 
They will bury you in my walk in holiness. They will bury you in my, my free fornication. They will bury you in the loss of the flesh. They will bury you in sacrifice the body. You must crucify the flesh's body. Crucify the desire of the body. Fast and pray. Read the word of God. Walk in holiness. And when you ask him for the part of the Holy Ghost, you ask him for the gift of the Holy Ghost, he will activate the gift of the Holy Ghost. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. That's why he made God understand in Acts chapter 5, verse 32. Acts chapter 5, verse 32. And we are his witness of these things. And so also the Holy Ghost, whom God had given to them that obey him. The Holy Ghost is a witness. And God gave the Holy Ghost to them that obey him. To walk in the power of God, it is the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Ghost, you cannot walk in the power of God. It is his power. But he gave his power to them that obey him. He gave his power to them that keep his law. He gave the power to them that ask him. And when you ask him, you must obey him. And when you obey him, he look, he see, he gave his power to you. To walk in the power of God, you must receive the Holy Ghost. You must obey him. And he will give his Holy Ghost to you. And you are walking the power because the power of God produces the power of God. In our life, in, our, in your ministry, he allow you to live a virtuous life. And that's why make an answer in Luke chapter 11, verse 13. If ye then be evil, know how to give good gift to your children. How much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Ghost to them that ask him? If the evil people know how to give good gift to their children, how more about the father when we ask him? So there's no need to go to seek the war, the dark war. No need to seek, go to seek the evil people. No need to go to seek modern man, witchcraft, witch doctor. No need. Humble yourself. Live a holy life. Allow the Holy Spirit to live there in you and ask the Father and He will give you the Holy Ghost and you'll walk in authority. You'll walk in power. The secret to walk in the power of God. To walk in the power of God, you need to be a cone of wheat. You need to be like a cone of wheat that will fall into the ground and die and burn alone. And then you'll bring forth fruit. It means that you as a human being are a corner of wheat. When a corner of wheat is thrown into the ground, into the soil, the corner of wheat, but he remain alone under the ground. And the shear will break. The flesh will break. And after a certain period of time, that corn will begin to grow. It will begin to bring forth fruit. So you and I, we didn't allow the skill, this flesh's body, to die. We need a lie to, we need a lie to die. We need to subdue it. We need to bring on subjection. And after the flesh and body have died, the skill has been removed. Because the real you is the spirit. Then you will begin to produce much fruit. Let go. Sacrifice a lot of things. You have to sacrifice some friends. Because you are alone. You are alone. You have to sacrifice some friends. Some friends that will not, will, will, will not allow your spiritual life to grow. You have to sacrifice them. So habit. That will, that will not allow you to walk in power. You have to sacrifice drinking, smoking, adultery, fornication, lying, hatred, jealousy, envy. God, those are you need to sacrifice some things to allow the power of God to move in your life. You need to sacrifice something. You have to buy a loom. You allow the skill to move up your body. You have to allow the skill to die. You don't have the body, the, the fleshy desire to die. And you'll grow and bring forth much fruit. That the people will see the light of God in you. They will see Christ in you. Christ in me, the hope of glory. The secret of walking the power of God. You have to be like a corner of wheat that will bow up a loom. And when you die, the skill is removed. And he will germinate. And when he germinates, he brings white fruit. Up. And when he produces fruit, he produces power. He produces authority because Christ is in you. You are being joined together in one spirit. The secret of walk in the power of God. The secret of walk in the power of God. Beloved brothers and sisters in our generation, if we want to walk in the power of God, would you understand this secret? This secret has been given to me by the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, to bring on to his dear people. Because he loves you, he cares for you. He wants you to walk in power. He wants you to walk in authority because it's available to you and I. He said, my children are perishing. He said, my children are going astray. Because no one to guard them. No one to tell them. But he said, I don't go to my children and tell them. The secret to walk in the power of God. 
Present yourself as a living sacrifice, holding a set unto Him. Allow the Holy Spirit to live perfection in you. Allow the Holy Spirit to live holiness in you. And you will see the manifestation of God. Obey Jesus and keep His commandment. And you will see the manifestation of the Son of God in your life. Separate yourself from your friends. Come from among them. Do that will suppress you. Do that will hinder your work, the work of God. Separate yourself. Come from among them. There will be some misfeeding. There will be some bad feeling. There will be some evil thought. But come from among them. It will be for their own good. Tomorrow, when the manifestation of God is moving in your life, you'll be a blessing to them. Why? Because God is using you as an instrument, as a tool to be a blessing to your generation, to your friends. That's why you have to bow that loom. You have to let go of certain things. You have to let go of certain habit. You have to let go of certain desire. And you're praying, you can't fast, you have to let go of food. If you let too much of eating, you have to let go of food. And your prayer, if you can't pray, you need to start developing how to pray. Spend it time. And your prayer, you can't read the word of God. You have to start reading the word of God. And you will see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in your life. But you need to make that decision. We need to make that decision. The secret of working the power of God. That decision is yours. The power is there. It's available. But how to tap into that power? How to tap into authority? We need to get patient. See God did it. Call upon him. He gave the Holy Spirit to them that obey him and that ask him. The secret of walking the power of God. Bring your body under subjection. That's why Paul said, I bring my body under subjection. Restrict this body. Restrict its desire and its habits. So you can walk in the power of God. So you have dominance over it. So you can produce, so power can be produced in your life. But you have to make that decision. We have to make that decision to bring forth fruit. We have to make that decision so we don't fulfill the laws of the, the flesh. So we don't fulfill the laws of the flesh. But we will walk in the spirit. When you bring your body under suggestion, you crucify the body. You die to the flesh. You die to sin. And you bring forth much fruit. The secret to walk in the power of God. The secret to walk in the power of God. God wants you to walk in the power, in His power. He wants us to walk in His power. Many people are going astray today. In our generation, in this world, many young people that are going astray for the, for, for the desire of power, for the love of power, but they don't understand the secret of God. They don't know how to, to reach to the Father. They don't know how to get close to the Father. And that's why He has sent me to let you know you need to present your body a living sacrifice unto him. You need to love his dear son, Jesus Christ. You need to be a Jesus-centered person. You need to be a Jesus-centered person. You need to read the word of God. You need to fast and pray. As a soul of Jesus Christ, you cannot be entangled in the affairs of this world. You need to crucify the flesh. You need to come from among them. Separate yourself. You need to be like a cone of wheat that will burn alone. The skill has to be relieved. The skill has to drop off your body. The skill has to drop off your, your life. Let the skin not crack. And you'll bring much fruit up. You'll bring much power. Because the Spirit of God is in you. The eternal of God is in you. He that is done with the Lord is one spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The secret to walk in the power of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your work. We bless you, we worship you, thank you, O oh Lord. We pray that God as a word have come for, O oh Lord. Let your word for the Father, sir. Let your word germinate the land of the people. Father, give them favor. Divine favor, divine manifestation. Open doors for them. Bless them, O God. Protect them, O Father. Wherever they tell them, be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know what, brother and sister, if you're on the line and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior, I'm going to repeat these words after me. Say, Dear God, 
I believe that you see your only begotten son, Jesus, fell into this world. He was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day, God the Father raised him from the dead. He is at the right hand side of the Father. Dear Jesus, I confess my sin unto you. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior, Master of my life. By faith, I receive salvation. By faith, I receive eternal life. I am born again. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I'm a son of God. I'm a child of God. In Jesus' name. If you repeat these words after me, know that God hurt you and he has forgiven your sin. Go on and be not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. I love you, but God loves you the best. Until we meet again, have a wonderful time. Pray for me and I will pray for you. Have a blessed time. Happy Independence Day in Jesus' name.